Hey guys, welcome back to the 31 Days of Yuletide Tarot. This is Meg, and I am really excited to share my reading with you guys. As per usual, there will be links in the description below to the deck I'm using as well as the spreads, so check it out if you're interested. Um, also, I'm including personal links to my social media, so if you guys want to get a hold of me outside of YouTube, you may do so. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm excited to share my reading with you guys. Um, this reading is for finding your light during the time of Yule. And the first card that I, yeah, the first card that I drew represents, um, the main unknown obstacle that you've been dealing with through the year. And the, this card, at least for me, is represented in the Five of Arrows, which represents frustration. Um, this suggests that there is some unfocused energy or anger that you're experiencing, and it's leading you to maybe make decisions that are kind of hiked. Um, it's also, you're also possibly lashing out in a way that isn't controlled. Um, you know, it, it's never good to do that, especially if you don't have all of the information you need to make those decisions. Um, so perhaps this is the, if not the root cause, at least one of the things that is bothering you and that you may need to deal with. Uh, the second, card that I drew is representing how this obstacle has cast a shadow over you. And again, um, this is represented in the Six of Arrows being transition. And this suggests that there is a movement towards new possibilities or that a cycle has started in your own personality that is expanding your horizons and taking you from an anxious or taking you from a time of anxiety into a time of peace. Um, it's also suggesting that you're harnessing these new energies and um, it will bring you purposeful momentum as you meet those changes. Um, you know, I hope that means abundance and good things for you. Um, but definitely it's a learning project, Pro process, process is what I want to say. I was going to say project. Either way, things are changing. Um, this next card represents how to step out from under the shadow. And um, I wouldn't say this is necessarily positive, but this might be one of those things to harness. And it is the seven of arrows or insecurity. Now, again, we all experience this, um, but the card suggests that there is some baseless fears and confusion in you that are leading to your instability. Um, it's causing you some distress and that it may, um, you need to deal, you need to deal with that, um, especially because it's, it's hurting you and it's, you know, you don't want to deal with it forever. Uh, so maybe acknowledging it and understanding that it's there and working to, working with your fears instead of against them. Oh, so this next card represents a way of replacing that negative, uh, that negative energy with some positive energies. And this is represented in the two of bows. Yes, that is the two of bows. It's backwards on camera, so I don't know. I don't know if it's coming up clear. I'm hoping it is. Um, Either way, this is representing a decision, and it also is representing things 
that are relating to a desire in you to resolve those decisions. Um, you also are preparing to take positive action along the way as well. And this final card is representing a glimpse into a new year for you. Um, it's representing what you can look forward to. And again, this is a repeat card, but I drew the green woman for this. And really quickly, um, there, she's appearing to you at a time of nurturing, protection, learning, intuition. Um, she's showing you how to understand and communicate with nature. And she's also showing you that it's your responsibility to do this because she is teaching you that the, the energy she's giving you is moving through you and you can share it. So yes, this was a quick one, um, but I do enjoy sharing these with you. Um, I'm glad you tuned in and thank you for, yeah, thanks for stopping by. If you have any comments or concerns, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Blessed be.